All right, what up, what up, what up? This is your man, DJ TJ. Hope you enjoyed those songs. We are back, we are back, we are back. This is Friday Night Live. You are listening on WKTJ Reverence Radio. It is October 2nd, 2020. Like I mentioned in the welcome, I had already recorded this, but unfortunately it did not record, so I am doing a makeup and um, it may or may not be as long as it was intended to be. So I might have to make it up the time with some music. So be prepared for a reduced topic version. But I'm going to get as much as I can in. Get in like I did the first time. And this is what is in your news the president and melania trump have contracted covid 19. this is after finding out one of their one of his main white house aides has the virus and um melania is doing fine she's still at the white house but president trump has made his way to the hospital at Walter Reed to forego a experimental process with antibody testing or treatment and um, he has a slight fever as well as some fatigue but is doing well and is on his own power. But just recently checked into the hospital for that reason. And I'm not going to tell you how I feel about this whole thing, but I just know what I know, okay? We'll leave it right there. And we're going to move on, okay? Now, if you remember the movie Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, uh, Ghostbusters, let's see, Spaceballs, and even Little Shop of Horrors, and you know who Rick Moranis is. And he was attacked recently in New York City. Someone sucker punched him. He says he is fine after being punched in the head by a random stranger. But this is abnormal and he looks really good for his age. And I'm sure he wasn't expecting that. But it is New York City. And I wish him well and I hope nothing else happens to him why he is where he is and doing what he has to do alright so moving on I don't know how much of that will be moving on but Trump has gotten a lot of well wishes around the world that he gets better because he did the same for those who also were affected, that were leaders. So Vladimir Putin also wished him a recovery, a well-wished recovery. And uh, not surprised, but this is how they do things. Putin sent him a telegram to wish him a speedy recovery. And um, he believes he has vitality that will keep him going. Moving on, Amazon has had 20,000 of its workers contract the coronavirus. 
I'm not surprised because I believe personally that factory workers should not be working while this is going on. It's too much of a risk. Too many people in the same area. And they should be allowed to stay home until this is over. I understand people want to get things done, but you are risking people's lives. Moving on, the Republican National Chair has contracted COVID. Not very surprised. What else is going on? Harvey Winehouse, Hawaiian Heiner, or whatever his name is, has also had six new charges brought against him recently. And, um, sorry, Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein, faces six new counts of sexual assault in LA. And, um, I'm not surprised about that either. All right, Tesla has seen a soar in their sales recently, and after taking a disappointing third quarter, they have bounced back, but they struggle with their factory over capacity. In the Breonna Taylor case, the grand jury has released the recordings and one out of the three officers were in fact indicted, but not for her death. The other two were exonerated and justified for their shooting and let's see what else y'all the house has passed a 2.2 trillion dollar stimulus deal and many are wondering why they didn't wait till it was bipartisan so it can also pass the senate but Nancy Pelosi and Steven Mnuchin are still in talks, which is good news. If you are looking forward to that $1,200, it may be coming. But in the event that they do not agree before the election, and they happen to wait, and the Senate is indeed changed and overtaken by the Democrats, they can approve whatever bill is passed in the House and also approve it in the Senate. And there will be no question whatever comes out will be also signed by the president. What else do we have? Vice President Mike Pence tested negative for the COVID-19 virus. And many of the sports events are going on where Last night, the Broncos defeated the Jets, and in baseball, the Dodgers swept the Brewers in their competitions, and two more tested positive on the Tennessee Titans team, and more and more of the college football games are beginning and continuing and the WA NBA finals are beginning where the men's NBA finals 
are currently going on game two between the Lakers and the Miami Heat. And Joe Biden also tested negative for the coronavirus. I know there were a lot more things that I did say in the previous recording that I did not say in this one. It's not nearly as long as it was, but now we're going to give you some new music by Tasha Cobbs Leonard. This one's called OMG or Oh My God. This is fresh off the press. This is your man, DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. You are listening on WKTJ Reverence Radio, where we listen to your favorite podcast at. Welcome to all our Instagram and YouTube followers and listeners and watchers. This is October 2nd, 2020 edition. Make sure you stay right there. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We will be right back. Thank you. 